Brave Wolf 6S 120 amp electronic speed controller. There are a couple of ways of programming this particular electronic speed controller. You can use a programming card, um, which is a small standalone box, which you plug into this, and um, you scroll through the settings on the box uh, individually and change to suit. Or you can use a USB link board, which is what I did. They're obviously small and cheap. You can get them on eBay. Um, I've got this one from China. Uh, you use this in conjunction with software, which you download off the web. I'll put details in the description about how to get hold of the programming card or the USB link board and the associated software so you can hunt these things down for yourself. A couple of provisos should be kept in mind. I've already blown two of these speed controllers. Um, one from accelerating, one from starting up a hill. That one's still working at the moment. It should be kept in mind that I'm fairly large. I'm 16 stone, which is 102 kilos or 224 pounds. My goal when I was playing around with this to come up with some settings was to get it to be as reliable as possible and to come up with a um, list of settings that would work for most people. The idea being that if yours broke, you could go out, buy one of these, enter the settings that I come up with and be up and running. And these are the settings that I came up with. Um, this is the best that I can get the electronic speed controller to be for me. Um, I'm going to go through most of these settings individually and describe my experiences with them. Motor timing. Um, I did some looking around on uh, various forums and um, it's a bit of a black art depending on the pairing of motor and speed controller. But for this particular motor, Um, I found normal to be the best. Um, some forums recommend uh, the higher settings. For me, that just made the motor run hot um, and the batteries to get unduly warm. The lower timing settings, um, I got to synchronization issues between the speed controller and the motor, and I'd get loud screeching. So, normal was best for me. Initial acceleration, um, there's no need to play around with this, just go for very soft. This is a car speed controller, and um, it's a compromise putting it into a board. It was never meant to move um, someone as heavy as a person. Um, it's meant to move a lightweight car very quickly. Um, so I have it on very soft. However, even on very soft, I'll still get the occasional shutdown when starting off. I did some reading up about this, and um, my earlier assumption about these being unlocked and this one, uh, which was already pre-installed in the board, being locked down, um, is correct. Various people in the forums have said that they cannot configure these ones, and these ones they can. And um, someone, I can't remember who, was saying that um, he got in touch with the manufacturer and was told that the profile in this has a very slow initial acceleration, which fits in with my experience with this board, um, or with both these clones. Um, when I start with a stock electronic speed controller, the initial acceleration is um, almost delayed. It's very slow to get it up and running. Um, with this one, which is the same physically as this, but is unlocked and open so I can configure it. The initial acceleration, even on very soft, is far quicker than this. So yes, something to keep in mind. This, no matter how soft you configure the initial acceleration, will never be as slow as these pre-installed ones. And running mode. Um, for me, I chose forward without reverse. Reverse is there, should you want it. I'm not sure I see the point. These boards um, are not meant to be started from standstill with you standing on it. You're meant to kickstart them. And if you're going to use reverse, you know, that's a bit awkward. You're just going to stop what they're doing, get off the board, and kickstart it in reverse. Okay, forward without reverse. Keeps 
it nice and simple. Percentage braking. Now this was interesting. Um, the braking on these boards, again, keeping in mind is for slowing a car down, so they're always very sharp. Um, 40% is the best that I can come up with. 30, yeah, not enough. 50, far too sharp. With 40%, I can, by feathering the trigger, um, go downhill and keep it under control and a manageable speed. So um, I'm not sure what the stock setting is. I'm thinking 50, but for me, 40 feels like a big improvement on the stock settings. Percentage drag brake, 0% don't really want any braking whilst you're freewheeling. You want the freewheeling to go for as long as possible. You don't want to shorten it. Cut off voltage, 3 volts per cell for lithium ion batteries. You don't want to go lower than that or bad things will happen. Throttle limit, um, 100% with this particular motor. Um, there's no problems doing that. There's no strain on any of the components. Throttle percent reverse. Well, in my case it's irrelevant. I don't have reverse enabled. So whatever setting that goes in there um, isn't used. Motor rotation, well that's obvious. Neutral range, well the largest option there is is 9% and that's what I like. It gives me the um, least sharp action when I use the trigger. And battery type, that should auto configure. But uh, LiPo includes lithium ion in this case. Just so you guys know how thorough I was when I was configuring the electronic speed controller. This is why I did. I took the laptop downstairs and plugged the USB link into it. I took the lead from the electronic speed controller to the receiver, out of the receiver, plugged that into the USB board, turn on the switch, which means that fires up, and configure the settings one at a time. To read the values in the electronic speed controller, obviously you just click on the settings. And to change, say for example I wanted to read the brakes. 30 percent, send settings, and it's done. For me, that's the best. And I suspect for you guys it's a good starting point. To try the settings, um, as I changed each one individually, I didn't screw this whole thing back onto the board um, each time it was far too much hassle so what I did was this I turn it over and use those to do that the bungee cords would hold everything in position and um, I would go around the local area and see if the settings worked for me and um, come back and do the bungee cords link it up to the laptop um, change one setting, reconnect everything, go out and do it again. I spent three days tweaking the settings for this. Not continuously, obviously, just in my free time. Um, the settings I came up with I think are the best that uh, work for me and I hope for you. There's still an issue though at the end of all that and uh, as I mentioned before it would still cut out occasionally during the initial acceleration if I wasn't very light on the throttle. Um, that's a sign of this being a um, car electronic speed controller and not a high quality one at that. Everything else was good. This didn't run at all warm. Neither did that or the motor. Um, it did with various other settings but not the settings that I came up with. And I think braking is much better than the settings on the stock electronic speed controller. If you want to take this further and do some more reading up on this um, EndlessSphere.com I'll put a link in the description um, It's an excellent resource um, They're nice knowledgeable people over there and um, they know their stuff when it comes to electric skateboards But the story doesn't end there um, Just as I got the electronic speed controller completely configured how I like it um, I took it out for a spin and whilst accelerating and not from a standing start, just from like medium to slightly faster speed, I managed to blow that battery management system. So among my two electric Chinese clone longboards, I have five um, breakages. I've broken that speed controller, I've broken that speed controller, I've 
broken that battery management system, repaired it, broke it again, and then broke that battery management system. So my next video is going to be my thoughts and experiences about these Chinese clone longboards. Not quite a review, but similar. Anyway, until then, bye for now.